Well, hello everybody. My name is Chris. I'm in a car. It's Car Chat with Chris. And we got snow. We got snow in Utah. Uh, I woke up. There's about three inches of snow uh, or so on, on the driveway and sidewalks. And um, and now I'm on my way to Dutch to get a tasty little beverage. But uh, for those, I'm going to kind of talk about what I had to do this morning. Uh, for those who live in states that get snow, then you'll understand this ritual. Because I got my... Uh, got my uh, snow pants on and everything. Uh, for those of you who don't live in warmer states, this is gonna be very foreign to you, but we'll talk about it. So on our driveway to our house, we had about three inches of snow, I guess. And what it is, is you you have to snow plow that or sh snow shovel it. If you don't, like let's say you don't, if you pull your car over the snow, it pushes the snow down and compacts it so tight that it just turns into a little um, ice track. So like you can perfectly see the um, the tire prints on a driveway uh, and, and it turns into a little ice, little, this, by the way, the roads are very slippery this morning, guys. And we'll talk about I mean, like we're talking, I'm just, I'm right now, I'm just driving on a sheet of ice. Um, it, if you don't, so if you, let me get back, come back up. I know I'm blathering, so here we go. Pull, let's say I don't I don't uh, snow shovel. I pull out the car packs that snow down, and then when I go to snow shovel later on, it'll snow shovel all this unpacked snow. But where the car prints are, the tire prints of that car, it's pushed that snow down so tight that it's turned it into a little sheet of ice. Like and it, you, like you can see them driveways all the time where it's like they're perfectly uh, their tire pr pr prints of the cars, and they irritate me I don't like that so you've got to snow shovel before you pull your car out right but the problem is you can't always do that because if it's like snowing super hard like during the night and all of a sudden in the morning get up it's time to take miles to school whatever you might not have had time to go out and snow shovel but today is Saturday and so I did that so I woke up I looked out I'm like oh there's snow so I went out uh and I was snow shoveling and uh we bought miles like two years ago, he has like a little snow shovel and he has a little area that he has a snow shovel. So I do the driveway and then we have like a little walking path and that's his job to do the walking path. It's just, that's his little chore. So we got all dressed, got all our snow gear on, went out, we uh, snow shoveled the driveway and that Miles got his little pathway done. And then uh, it was, and we got it early, like today, like, I don't know why Miles wakes up so early all the time. <laughs> He's just an early riser, right? And like it was like 6.20, he's awake and he's just like, he's ready to tackle the day. So the sun wasn't even up when we were first snow shoveling. And then the sun started coming up and uh, we decided, I was like, we got some good snow. Um, we went, Miles and I went to a park and they have like a hill and we went sledding on the hill and we did that for a while. And then I, we just got back and now we got back to the house, dropped the sled off and, um, he got cold. His cheeks were just like, you know, like super cold. That good cold though. You like your rosy cheeks because they're being cold. I love that. And uh, and then we got back. He dropped him off. And I am now on my way to Dutch Bros to get some beverages. So it was interesting because I told him, I said, okay, I'll go to Dutch. I'm like, what do you want, Miles? You want some hot cocoa? Um, and he's like, yeah. He's like, I want, a, I want a hot chocolate. He's like, okay, so I'm just at a red light, by the way. You have to, when you're driving in snow, when you, you have to be very, you have to be super hyper aware of your surroundings. So like when you're at a red light and then the light turns green, during normally you just go, you're like, okay, light is green. But when it's snow and there's ice on the road like this, even though the, the, even though, even though the light has turned green, you have to look both ways. Because if a car is coming at the light against the light and it was yellow and they slam on their brakes, sometimes they'll just start sliding and they can't stop. And so then the light will turn red and they'll just slide out into the into the intersection. So you have to be careful about that. So when, if you ever do drive in snow, you, can, uh, you come to a, a red light and it turns green, always look, you know, always look. Anyways, so Miles was like, yeah, I want some, I want some uh, hot cocoa. And he wanted what was called a Dutch Canyon. And then, um, and then all of a sudden, uh, Amanda's like, okay, I want my usual. And then he's like, mom, can you just make me hot cocoa here at home? She's like, sure. So he's like, I don't want it. I don't want any hot cocoa from Dutch. I just want mommy to make me some hot cocoa. So she is now making him some hot cocoa. 
Have you guys seen those things called cocoa bombs? They are the bomb. Um, they're like a little round. So you get like a, you put it in the bottom of a mug. It's like a round chocolate ball. And inside the chocolate ball, ball is hot chocolate powder and like marshmallows. So you heat up milk and you pour it slowly over this cocoa bomb and it melts the cocoa bomb and then it, it the hot chocolate melts and the cocoa melts and then the marshmallows float top and you slowly stir it and mix it all together. <laughs> And so uh, he wanted, I think, a cocoa bomb this morning. So um, this is all, what we're talking about right now is all cold weather state stuff, guys. If you're living in beautiful, like San Diego or like Georgia, Florida, you know, you guys probably don't do that as much. You don't have to worry about this type of stuff. Um, I like the snow. Now, the other thing about driving snow is for people who are first learn to drive in snow, you get it's a skill it's a real skill you can learn to drive in snow and you can like i feel very comfortable i've been driving snow most of my life i feel very comfortable driving snow and the only i mean the only way i'd get really bad is if i were maybe like two or three feet and i couldn't my car couldn't get through it then i'm like okay this is insane but it's a skill the thing about snow driving is you don't you it's not a lot of people think that you're not gonna be able to accelerate <laughs> No, you can accelerate the snow. That's not the problem. The problem is stopping. It's stopping and going around corners. That's when the people get in trouble. So people, like a lot of times people will, they'll move to like a snow state and they'll get like a four wheel drive car for the very first time. They're like, oh, this is great. And so then they also, they accelerate. They're like, they think that their car can handle the snow because they accelerate so fast. It's the stopping and the going around tight corners. That's where you start to slide. So what you do is when you see that you're coming up to like a, like I'm coming up to a corner here uh, and the roads are a little bit slick. You just, you take your foot off the gas and you coast a lot. So you're just like coasting and slowly applying the brake. You're slowly applying the brake. Now, most of the brakes, if you have an older car, um, then you, the worst thing you do in an older car is slam on your brakes. You slam on your brakes, you'll just start sliding. So what you do is you pump your brakes. In an older car, you like pump, 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 pump. And the brakes are like dunk, 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 dunk. And that will give you control on the, on the, um, on the, on the, uh, where, as you're sliding. Newer cars, they have like this anti, what I think it's called like ABS braking, where as you push really hard, the brakes will, they start sliding, they'll start to detect that, and they'll start pumping for you. It's like, brrr. it's almost like a foot massage, it's like, They're like, pump, 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 pump. But uh, you want to try to never be in a situation where you have to use that. Um, but as a teenager, I grew up here, right? As a teenager, we would go into uh, uh, parking lots, like church parking lots, and and like like a, maybe like a mall parking lot, and we would do donuts. And what a donut is is where you are driving your car really fast, and then you like if you had like a and you like pull the emergency brake and spin the wheel, and the car would start spinning like this. And like. Uh, a car I had was a front wheel drive, a little stick shift, like just like the car I'm in right now. And it was a stick shift. And so I would get in and I would go in reverse because I had front wheel drive and he cranked that wheel and the car would just whip around like, <laughs> or if you had an emergency brake right there, you go around a corner really fast and you grab that, you crank that emergency brake and you'll just drift around that corner and the snow's like perfect, like shh, it's crazy. I was, a, I can't believe I do this, did this crap as a teenager. I was so confident with my driving skills that if in the winter time, um, if there's two, like two cars were parked and there was like a little parking spot between that was open and it was snowy, I would I would drift into this into it. So I would like <laughs> I, I can't believe I did this. I thought it was so cool. The two cars were parked. I would come flying in, pull up the emergency brake, and just slide right into the. I never, I never, uh, never dinged anybody. Never, I just thought it was so cool. I thought I was super cool. Now I'm like, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, I think that's also why I love my car so much. When I ordered this car, I wanted this car because it was a manual. I love driving a manual. It's not an automatic. It, the car I learned to drive on was a manual, and so, um, I, I wanted a manual. The, the door they just kicked the door open <laughs> they're like what's going on guys it's my little rays of sunshine <laughs> yes. 
I just know I went and st went snow plowing and then I took my eyes and went sledding already. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's like 9 a.m. I know. It's been a day. It's been a day. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. Hey. You want hey. 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 to say hi? This is pretty, hi. Hi, guys. I better, I better be on this. The, you are on this. You are on this. <laughs> you are on this. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Bridger? Yes. Let's do the Bridger special. Bridger special? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just get, pick up the drinks. Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? That's okay. I just wanted orders, and I was like, sorry. That's okay, it's okay. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. What's new? Not a whole lot. Warm. Your hair looks fantastic. Thank you. Are you cold at the window? Yes, I'm always freezing all the time, though. So, this is the worst. Does it? Yes. But it's... You got any plans for the weekend? We have Alyssa's birthday. That's a plan. That's a huge so plan. All right, here we go, guys. Just got a drink. Oh, it's insane. Oh. Very good. Very, very good. Wow. The thing about it is, is like, depending on, you have different, I guess, they're called baristas. They make, they make the drinks. And like, depending on who makes it, they taste a little bit different. It's not bad. They're just like they use. It's like their own little signature, like their own little like fingerprint on a the drink. They're like when they make it. And this one is more cinnamony than the last one. Like I can taste the like when they pulled the cinnamon through. They pulled it through. It's very good. Very very good. Anyways, I, I don't remember. I have no idea what I was talking about at all. But uh, snow driving maybe or whatever and. and Disney and all that stuff. I just want you guys to know you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for watching. I just appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that I can just come here and just kind of chit chat and talk with you guys. It's very enjoyable for me to be able to do, to, uh, to do this and uh, to kind of and I like and I love reading comments. It's it's nice. Um, it's I feel like I can actually read the comments on the other channel. They're, they get too much. It's like there's like thousands of comments, and this one I can read the comments and I see familiar faces. So. I appreciate it. I think you guys are awesome. And you guys hope you have a fantastic weekend. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ooh.